Okay, so now it's time to kind of really consider this more complex hand structure. Um, and the first thing I want to do is just clean up as much as possible all the mess that I made when I was trying to block in the bigger ideas. So I'm just going to really carefully try to clean up this area so I don't add any unnecessary confusion uh, because the smaller the lines that we're dealing with, the more information we have to keep track of. Okay. Okay, so in my original um, envelope shape, I had described this hand with one line coming down here, one line falling up here. I really cut off this whole pinky area. Uh, one line describing all of this, even though there's all these little pieces in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is just refine my envelope shape of this part a little bit first, and then I will work more into the interior. So um, the first thing I want to do is find, um, you know, just refine it a little bit. And I, I'm feeling like a good idea for that is to maybe find this line, oh, this line. And then also I noticed that um, the, the knuckles are actually coming in at a little bit of an angle. So these two lines, if I can find them, will help give us shape to the pinky um, down here and help us get a better idea of what our hand is going to look like. So um, again, if I want to find this line, I want it to be a fall through line and I want it to touch my notional space box. So I'm going to transfer these points and because we're working with smaller increments, you know, we're just using a very small piece of our notional space box at this point. And again, I just want to be cleaning up as much as possible as I go. Okay, the next line I want to find is this line. Um, again, because this is a big horizontal line, I'm going to use my skewer as a tool to help me place that line. So we're going from here to here. Now be careful, I almost made a mistake that a lot of people commonly make. I almost put my dot of what I thought was a notional space box on this line, which is actually on the inside of my notional space box. I want to make sure that when I'm extending my follow through lines that they're always going to the outside of the notional space box and I don't accidentally make that dot on an interior part of that box. Um, okay, so again, I'm going to be transferring. So the reason you want to make sure that this line is going all the way to your notional space box is because it, it's a standard that can be similar all the time. If you go to this interior line instead of the notional space box, maybe when you make your dot over here, you forgot that it was an interior line and you put it on the exterior line and that's going to give you two different measurements because this line isn't perfectly horizontal, it's at a slant. So it's actually a tiny bit higher if you measure from here and a tiny bit lower if you go to the notional space box. Okay, um, so now that I have those points, And you can see, I'm just going to emphasize the part that is going to end up being part of that pinky, that we are starting to get a more refined shape amongst uh, around that hand.
I'm just going to re-emphasize my notional space box a little bit. Okay. I remember that this line was actually this line here and it got erased back a little bit too much. So I'm just looking at my whole line but just emphasizing a little bit the part I still need to keep because it kind of got faded. And I kind of need this to reference what I'm doing with some of the other pieces here. Okay. So once I have the bigger idea kind of refined, um, you know, we'll start getting into a few of the smaller ideas. Um, but there's, there's a few other slightly bigger ideas that we still need to address. Um, we still, there's a few big interior lines here, um, and also a couple of these lines going across the wrist. So I'm gonna get this line in, and I'm gonna get these lines across the wrist and, and then we'll go on to the next phase of our drawing. So I'm realizing actually that this line here, if I were to redraw it, was actually part of our original notional, or sorry, part of our original envelope shape. Remember how we decided to cut off this part? Well, it just so happens that that original line, which I'm just going to draw over the line that we had here. Um, this was part, sorry, this got a little crooked. This was a part of our original envelope when we said that we weren't going to worry about this stuff pushing out. Um, and it just so happens that that line best represents kind of this line on the plate that we need to put in. So I'm going to kind of leave that in there for now. All right, so now I want to look at this line. And again, I'm extending it. Across here and just going through the same process. going to emphasize the part I want to keep, erase back the part I don't. All right, and I'm just going to get one more line in here. So I'm going to look at this line here, and again I'm going to extend it. undershot that a little bit. And I'm just going to emphasize the part of the line I wanted it to keep. And 
erase back the part I don't need. Okay, and we're starting to get a little bit more structure into our arm. Um, there's one more piece that's kind of bothering me. I'm seeing that up here the arm is feeling really curved, and in mine it's very blocky still. And um, so I'm going to throw in this line here. I'm just going to erase back the dots that I know aren't the ones I want so I don't get confused when I'm going all the way from over here to over here. And check that angle. Feels good. Um, I'm seeing that as I drew that line, it, it kind of swerved up a little bit. So I'm just going to try one more so you can get it a little straighter here. There we go. So I'm going to erase back the part of the my bad line that I don't want. And I'm going to emphasize the part of the good line that I want to keep. And we have another line here that was coming down. Now as you do this, you may start noticing, um, like I'm noticing, for example, that this part got a little long and this part got a little short. I'm going to take a mental note of that right now and as we go into our next phase that's going to be one of the things that I start correcting. So um, get your best ideas down, think really big, use your follow-through lines and once you get to this level of refinement we're going to um, wean ourselves off of the follow-through lines a little bit and um, go a little bit more from observation around our drawing.